What up guys, welcome to another Mike Build solar video. Today I wanted to just kind of give you guys an update on my little system here that's been running now for a couple weeks with some of the new parts I put on. So as you can see right now, we're at 64% state of charge. We are pulling 236 watts out of the system and we are putting in 112 watts. The sun's pretty low right now. I just got home from work. So total with this new charge controller, we've generated 30 kilowatt hours. So that's pretty damn good. I have the inverter window, the Medea window inverter AC running right now, just on low. And on low, this thing only pulls 349 watts. It actually goes lower than that once the temperature kind of stabilizes. So, so far the system's been really good. I think in the last video we added this uh, Wheezy lithium iron phosphate battery from Amazon. No complaints there. Everything's been flawless. I haven't had any problems with anything. And I've been using this every weekend I'm off. This thing is running all day running the AC. And then when I get home from work, I always kick it on a little just for the afternoon a little bit. As long as the state of charge doesn't get too low, I don't let it go below like 30%. So normally it was like 20, 30 up to 100. So right now we're at 60. And as you can see, uh, it'll support its load for 16 hours. So I'll take you guys to the backyard. We moved the panels around a little bit. So they were all right here. Kind of in the way I wanted to, I'm starting to kind of clean my backyard up a little bit. So I remounted them right here and then I added two more panels. And right now in full sun, we're only getting about 650 watts, which isn't bad, but each panel is rated at 180. So I, I definitely think I have some line losses in the wiring. So probably on a future video, we're gonna go through and clean all the wiring up on the panels, maybe add some thicker wire going to the charge controller and just kind of experiment with that just to see if we can get some more power out of this setup. These panels are old, they're, they were built in 2009. So they're pretty old, maybe they're just uh, degraded, I don't know, but you know, so far I've been extremely happy with this setup and I really don't have any complaints. I think in the future, obviously I wanna add more panels, say so clean the wiring up and just, just keep going and keep upgrading as, you know, as things go on. And the biggest thing I want for the inside unit My goal for the inside unit now is gonna be the inverter and then we're gonna redo this whole setup. And then next, I wanna maybe build a pack out version of this that's portable that I can take with me to charge things on the go. I think that'd be pretty awesome with its own charge controller and battery inverter and all that good stuff with all the, you know, all the nice wiring and everything. So we're slowly learning, we're slowly getting better. Every build I do, I take what I've learned and I apply it to it. And in my opinion, that's the best way to learn. It's the most fun way to do it. You know, don't get stuck on trying to do it right perfect the first time, just get it built make it work and you have all the time in the world to improve it from there so i guess that's really going to do it for this video thank you all guys very much for watching i appreciate your subscribes subscribers to me and uh if you have any comments leave them in the comments